Hey guys! So I have wanted to film a what's in my shower video for ages, it's always been on my kind of list of to-do videos, so I thought I would do one for you all today, but I'm going to go one better than a what's in my shower video, and I'm going to do a full bathroom tour. So if you want to see what is in my shower and how I kind of organise my bathroom and stuff, then come with me and I will show you. I am actually moving house quite soon, so this is kind of my last chance to do one, which is what pushed me into finally doing it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy! So here is my bathroom. It's actually an ensuite off of our bedroom and because I am a total product junkie we actually have to make quite good use of space in here. It actually looks fairly wide um, from this angle but actually if you see here like you can see by the width of the toilet it's a very narrow room so as you come in on the left here you have the sink and I'll just go around and show you kind of in terms of products and stuff what I use as well so I have our little mirror here so around the sink we just keep our kind of basic daily essentials that everybody keeps on their sink toothbrushes um, the red one is Mike's with a little red band these toothbrushes are actually really really expensive I got given one um, ages ago and I was like there's no way I would ever spend that much money on a toothbrush and it was so good I ended up buying Mike one for his birthday um, I don't actually know what they're called Oral-B Triumph Professional I'll put a link in the information bar anyway um, and then my Oral-B toothpaste which I spoke about in a video recently this little timer actually comes with toothbrushes it basically helps you to time um, brushing your teeth and stuff and it has a clock on it too which is actually quite handy then I have the Soap and Glory um, hand wash and hand cream. I've refilled these like five times, they're seriously amazing. And then I have a small selection of my skincare stuff, the smaller pieces that will actually fit because our sink is really small. Um, these are the only things that fit on there, but if you want to see more of my skincare, um, I just did a video on it, so I'll link it below. So moving over to this corner, this is actually my perfume collection, you wouldn't have guessed, would you guys? Um, I have a lot of perfume and I do actually tend to use it all. Most of these bottles will be like half empty, three quarters empty. Yeah. I'm not going to go through all of them because we'll be here all day, but if you do want to see a separate perfume collection then just let me know, I'll give you like a little sneak peek. These are all my perfumes there so you can see them. And then moving into the drawers, in the top drawer I tend to keep spare stuff in here, so as you can see I've got like spare contact lenses, a spare shower gel, um, clean muslin cloths, I have a few extra like um, things that I haven't run out of yet, so um, this works, perfect leg, and a Michael Todd toner, and some Bath and Body Works, what do you call these, body sprays, um, Alpha H Liquid Gold, nose strips, a few other skincare pieces that I don't use a lot, but I do kind of tend to keep and use are in there. And then in the second drawer down, these drawers are actually really boring, this is all just like hair removal stuff, it's mainly Mike's shaving and trimming stuff, along with some like wax strips and stuff. And then in this drawer, it's pretty dark, but we just keep kind of spare toothpaste, toothpaste cases, all that kind of stuff. We have some scales on the floor there, and then we have a candle burning. This is actually one that I got for Christmas, it's Claxton and Barrett Ginger. It's nice, but yeah, I, I don't know where you can get them from, but it is nice. Um, and then this is kind of Mike's corner, so he has all of his perfumes here. I can go through his perfumes because he doesn't have so many. He has Ralph Lauren Blue, Ralph Lauren Black, um, YSL L'Homme de Nuit, he has Abercrombie Fierce, and then he also usually has Chanel, Blue de Chanel, but he's run out, so he doesn't have that at the moment. He has hand food, um, the Soap and Glory hand food, which I actually introduced to him, he really likes it. Um, crew hair stuff. Um, some nail clippers and then a few like mini perfume stuff so that's kind of Mike's corner and then in the next drawer down here is where I keep all of my body stuff so this drawer is like totally overflowing as you can see um, the the main like I keep a lot of sun cream in here so I've got a lot of Pitts Boo in um, that's my favorite sun cream I also have some of the Perfect Legs Gradual Tan from this works which I love and the Perfect Legs Skin Miracle which is also amazing I have an First Aid Beauty body moisturiser, which is really, really nice. A couple of Taylor Swift um, Enchanted moisturiser and shower gel, which I got with a perfume. I've actually used some of them, but they're kind of half empty. Zen Tan, Sienna X, Fake Tan. I actually have quite a bit of um, insect repellent. I get eaten by mosquitoes when I go on holiday. Body scrub and then a few other body moisturisers. So that is my kind of body drawer. And then underneath here, I just keep girly stuff and hand cream. So as you can see, um, what are these called? Cotton buds, tampons, all that kind of um, stuff, along with like 
hand sanitizer and things like that. And then moving on to the windowsill, as you guys can see, um, it is fairly deep. It's actually really great for putting stuff on this windowsill because it's so deep. Um, Mike tends to keep some magazines, which he reads on the loo, which is a very guyish thing to do. And we actually have the bin up here, partly because Woof likes to steal things from the bin, and partly because there's no space on the floor we for it. We also keep our wash bags here, so both Mike and I um, stay away from home a lot. We stay with my parents a lot. I stay in London. I go away a lot. Um, so we generally have our like travel wash bags out all the time. Um, Mike's is the Mulberry one, um, which is actually really nice. I bought this for him as a gift. And then this is my one, which has the Stripey Mini and Selfridges on the front. Mike bought me that as a gift. Um, and then in the corner here, we tend to kind of keep other stuff that we use on a daily basis. So Mike has his Penn Halligan's traditional shaving set, which I actually bought him for Christmas, um, and his deodorant. And then I keep some facial tissue, which I use to take my makeup off, some contact lenses, deodorant, Mitchum deodorant is like amazing, um, Alpha H liquid gold and facial spray, Cora's, um, body butter, which is really good, and Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, fragrance free, it's kind of like an essential. Michael Todd, which one is this? This is the avocado and mango face mask. I think the other one is in the shower, because I tend to use the other one in the shower, but this one I tend to use at night, and it's really, really lovely. Um, lip scrub from Lush, a half finished bioderma, my almost finished blue green algae toner from Michael Todd, which is my favourite. Two body sprays from Bath and Body Works. I have cashmere glow and pink chiffon, which are my favourite. And then we have a towel rail here. Very exciting, guys. And then if you turn right around and close the door, we have our shower. Now it's actually a really nice sized shower. It's really, really big. Um, it does take up like half the room, but um, we absolutely love, love, love this shower. I'll be really sad to leave it behind when we move. So as you can see, we don't actually have like any shower caddies. We tend to keep the stuff around the bottom of the shower. We tried to get the stick on shower things, but they just won't stick. These tiles are like really rough finished, so they won't stick to them. So first of all, I have my shampoo and conditioner that I'm using at the moment, which is Tresemme Platinum Strength. Uh, really good, I love those. And I have the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream, which is basically um, a, a clarifying shampoo. And I have the L'Oreal Silver Shampoo, which stops brassiness in blonde hair. So I have like three different shampoos. It seems excessive, but these two I use like on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. These are my everyday shampoo and conditioner. Then I have two hair treatments. I have the Aveda Color Conserve, which is a great, great, great hair treatment. It leaves your hair feeling really soft and it's obviously good for if you colour your hair. Then I have the Percy and Reed um, hair mask, which is good. The foam one, it's kind of a novelty. Then I have a few skincare products. I have the Michael Todd pumpkin mask, which is lovely. I like to use this in the shower because it is a little bit um, less of an easy mask to use. It's kind of um, a lumpy consistency rather than a really smooth one, so it's good for using in the shower. I usually put it on right when I get in the shower and then wash it off just before I get out. And then I have my Jojoba Charcoal Facial Scrub from Michael Todd, which is great, and my Ren Number no. 1 Purity Cleansing Balm, which I use as my cleanser. And then in the corner here, I have two shower gels. I have my Philosophy Pumpkin Pie Shower Gel, which I love and I kind of keep for special occasions because it's my favourite. Um, and then I have my original source Orange and Cinnamon Shower Gel, which is amazing. I just got this recently and I love it. And then in the other corner, Mike has a few things going on. He's actually really um, picky about what he uses in the shower. So his daily hair routine is John Frieda Frizzy's straight ahead shampoo, which is this one. And then he also uses Aussie 3 Minute Miracle on a daily basis. His favorite shower gel is the green foam burst. I think it's citrus burst. It is actually really good. It smells like kiwi and apple. And then he has a Ren face scrub, which I actually gave him. I'm not entirely sure if he's using it a lot, but this is actually really nice. It smells like peppermint, so it's great for guys. It's in a bit more of a manly packaging as well. Then he has his um, mouthwash, which he likes to use in the shower because he's weird. And then we actually have some doggy shampoo in the corner as well. This is like the oldest doggy shampoo ever but whenever Woof gets dirty she tends to be put in the shower and washed so um, yeah Woofy has her own little corner of the shower too. So that is it for my bathroom tour guys I'll give you a quick 360 of the room so you can see and that is my bathroom and there's my dressing gown it actually says Fleur de Force on the back Mike got it for me for Christmas love it. So that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe to see more videos and I will see you very soon. Bye!